Thanks for tuning in to Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brothers, and today we're gonna to be talking about cleaning air filters. We're gonna take these filters and stick them in this bike, but there's also a dirty one in here and in that Sherco over there, and I'm gonna show you how to clean them and properly to get them oiled and ready to go back in the bike. That's what we're talking about today. Stick around. It should come as no surprise to anyone that having a clean air filter in your bike is probably one of the most important maintenance items that you can do, especially if you're running a four stroke. This one happens to be a two stroke. Um, it's still very important on the two strokes, but it's just of vital importance on the four strokes that you keep a, uh, a very clean air filter on your bike. So this is important uh, to know how to do. It's also important, I think, that you have two different air filters. I like to have one air filter in the bike and also um, another one that's, that's cleaning and been cleaned and, been, and is drying out in the shop uh, so that I can just throw it in there whenever I need to. This bike, I'm actually testing these steg pegs. Normally you wouldn't need tools to get your air filter out, uh, but I have to take, the, I have to take this, uh, this steg, steg peg set up off here to get to my air filter. It's probably my, big, it's my biggest gripe on these steg pegs, at least on this model, and I'm probably not gonna continue to run uh, these steg pegs just because of that fact that I have to have um, I have to have tools to get my air my air filter out of the bike so that's kind of a bummer but we'll get this air filter out of the bike and then we'll take it over to the bench So you can see I've got some, uh, a couple of dirty filters over here and then a couple of clean filters just to kind of show you. The, the first thing I want to do is to get my dirty filters soaking uh, in, in some solvent to be able to break down uh, the oil and break down the dirt and the grime. So although it looks like this is sponsored by Twin Air, I assure you it's not. I went out and I bought off Rocky Mountain ATV, I bought a kit, I've been using this for a while. They have a, an air filter or an air cleaner kit here where you can, they give you the bucket and they give you the cleaning solvent um, here and they also give you some air filter oil and a bucket to put the air filter oil in. So I'm just gonna put all of my solvent down in here and they also give you that screen, I don't know if you noticed that, where it kinda, it kinda keeps, the, um, it keeps the air filter up off of the out of the dirt because all the dirt will settle down in the bottom of this of this container and you can use this for you know many 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 different um, air air cleaner uh, air cleaning so I'm gonna actually bring you into a tighter shot here and show you what's happening right up here on this so we'll take our air filter and you'll see this air filter has got grease on on the uh, on the skirt here I'll show you what I'm doing with that when I go to put this thing back together. So I'm gonna carefully take uh, this off of the uh, holder there, and I'll just get this kind of soaking in, in, this, in this solvent. And because I've got two to do today, I'm actually just gonna get them both soaking. This is the air filter off the uh, Sherco. The other air filter was off the KTM, and this one didn't have the solvent or the, the actual grease um, along the thing. You can do it either way. I'll show you how I do them a lot of times. But I'm just gonna let this, let this soak right here while I go to the next step of my project, which is to take one of my clean air filters here that you see. I'm gonna take one of these clean air filters and apply the oil into that and get that going and get it on the bike. And then I'll come back to these guys after they've had a chance to soak here and we will finish, finish up with those. All right, so there's a couple of ways that we can apply the oil. Some of, some of you might have oil that is in liquid form like this. Other, other times you might have oil. Let me just grab one for you. You might have a spray uh, similar to this, uh, this spray here where you can just literally just spray your filter and get it all permeated in here. That one's a brand new filter. I'm just gonna use this one. You can see, you can see that the chemicals that I'm using aren't exactly uh, super harsh because this, this air filter has been used one time and it still is showing the color of the oil here. If you use gas or some other really harsher chemical, which I don't recommend a ton, it will take and get this you know, back to kind of its original color. 
I'm not too concerned about that. You could spray this like crazy and then just kind of work it together you know, and work it, work it up like this and make sure that the oil is, is uh, spread throughout. What I'm gonna do today is something slightly different. I'm gonna use this uh, air filter oil here, if I can get this child, <laughs> child-proof thing off. And I'm just going to, uh, I, I used to, I was submerging it here in this, but I'm, I'm not doing that this time. I'm just gonna kinda pour a little bit of oil in a few places on this thing right over my, right over my pail here, like this. And then I'm going to, take this and just just work it um, work it back and forth and you will get all you will get the oil permeated all the way through this filter and that's what you're what you're really looking to try to do is to make sure that and you can squeeze it here i don't recommend twisting these or, or wringing these things out uh, but you can definitely squeeze them together and make sure that you work that filter oil everywhere into the filter and i think i've actually done it there i've got a little bit of oil down in the bottom here i can kind of rub around a little bit and the idea though is that just that we're working to make sure that every aspect of this filter has plenty of oil in it i'll just run a little up here run a little over here just kind of run it around a little bit and then again just working that in because i want to make sure that i've got good coverage everywhere on uh, in, in that foam. So it takes you a minute here. It obviously helps if you've got some gloves. And uh, I don't need it dripping with oil, but I do want it completely saturated. Um, and now I'm ready to move to the next step. So I'm just gonna set this down right here like that, and we'll move to our next stage. Okay, now that I've got my filter completely saturated with oil, I wanna take, um, I want to take this part of my filter, uh, the thing that keeps it, apart, keeps it open. I'm going to clean this off, make sure that I don't have a bunch of dirt and grime on there. I'm going to put, and I'm going to put the filter back on to this guy. So a lot of these will have a specific way that they go. It looks like this one works like that. I'm going to stick this little cage. Um, back inside my filter, get it situated properly. And the reason why I'm gonna do this is I'm just about ready to put it back on the bike, but I want to uh, do a little bit of extra protection here uh, to keep out any sand or dust or dirt or even water from coming through this, this filter. So I'm gonna make sure that that's stretched all the way over this cage properly and it looks fine. There we go, get that down like that. Now, here's my little extra thing that I like to do. I just get some regular grease. This is, this is just waterproof grease. And I'm gonna just dip my finger in here and spread this grease along the edge of that filter, just kinda like I'm spreading on peanut butter. So I'll just kinda give it a nice uh, thick coating here. And I think this helps to go a long way for really sealing up the filter on your bike and, and keeping you know, your motor completely good to go. Keeping it from you know, sucking in a bunch of dust and crap. This is kind of like the, the last line of defense or, or you could call it the first line of defense here. So now that I've got a good, nice coating of grease all the way around that thing, I'm ready to go put this back on the bike. So that's basically it. I mean, there's not, there's not a rocket science to this, but now that I've got one that's ready to go back on the bike, I can go install this on the bike and I'm gonna go back now to my solvent and work on the, uh, getting, getting the filter clean for the next time. Cause this thing is good to go. I'm ready to go put this thing on the bike and then go for a ride. So my two dirty filters have had plenty of time to soak. And what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna massage them. And I'm basically just massaging the oil and the dirt out of them. And that dirt is falling down into the bottom of this, uh, into the bottom of this container because I've got that, uh, this grate here that keeps, keeps these things up out of that dirt. So I'm just gonna kinda work them and massage them. And like I said before, this solvent can be used multiple times. I probably used that solvent on 20, 
uh, different air filters before I replaced it, maybe 20 or 30. And so you're just gonna kinda massage the oil and the dirt out of there and let that fall down to the bottom of the container. And then I'm gonna go wash these, uh, rinse these things off with, with water. So I'll just kinda strain them out like that. See, and there's a little bit of a discoloration here. And if there is, then you can kinda work that section again. Sometimes I'll have discoloration along the, the skirt here because of the grease that I put in. Uh, ultimately, I'm not too concerned about discoloration. What I am concerned about is just making sure that the filter gets clean and gets that dirt and that grime gets out of there. So I'll just squeeze that one out. And then this one, ha this one was super dirty and it's already lost a lot of that dirt and that grime. I can see that. We were on a super, super dusty ride. Um, up in Idaho last weekend. They need some rain up there bad. We need rain down here bad too. Um, but yeah, so we'll just kind of work that and massage those, the dirt and the oil out of it. And that thing's already looking much, much better, much cleaner. And then I will go out and rinse this thing off with, with water and then let it dry. So now, as you can see, I've got the one filter ready to go back on the bike. It's, it's completely oiled up and it's got the grease around the outer skirt. And I've got these two filters, which I've just rinsed off with water. And I'm just going to leave them in this little uh, pail here. And I'm going to let this dry air dry out uh, because it'll be days before I'll need these or even a week or more or two weeks. So I always keep the clean air filters here ready to be oiled. And then I've got a clean one in the bike and that's just how I run it. So it's good to always have at least two air filters for your dirt bike. And that way you can run this system. So when I'm putting my air filter back in the bike, I like to take just a second to wipe off any excess grease that might've, uh, kind of accumulated here from my little grease trick that I do, because that is one downside is, I end up kind of getting a little bit of grease. Um, but hey, if you got a little bit of grease in here, all that's gonna do is if there is any dirt uh, that gets, gets down past here, you'll know because that grease will be uh, accumulating. I mean, the dirt will accumulate up on that grease and so you'll, you'll know that you had a problem. Um, so yeah, I'll just clean this baby up. Like I was saying before guys, uh, having a clean air filter in your bike is paramount uh, as far as, as far as good maintenance on your dirt bike. So it's not expensive to do. It's a good habit to get in, uh, checking your air filter often, making sure that you learn how to put your air filter in correctly for your application. This one is, this one's pretty easy where they've got, they make it kind of, kind of idiot proof. I'm glad that they've done that because on some of the other bikes that I've had, you, you could really kind of get your air filter in the wrong place and make make it so it doesn't have a tight seal but that's the thing you want to make sure is you want to feel all the way around and look all the way around and see if it's in the right place and if it's seated correctly so that you don't get any any dirt and and stuff to blow by that air filter and get into your intake and and ruin your motor it's especially especially critically important on the four strokes so you can get away with a little bit of a little bit of, uh, there's a little bit more leeway on these two strokes, on the four strokes, there is no leeway. You, you gotta be changing the air filter, you know, basically after every ride, if it, if it gets dirty or every few hours. So that's pretty much it guys. We're done with this bike. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the Sherco and get that one done as well. Um, that's how I do the air filters. I make sure that I got plenty of oil on that thing, make sure I got good coverage and make sure I got a little grease around it. And then I always have another one on hand where I will, you know, be able to, to throw it in the bike when, when this one is dirty. So if you got questions or leave, leave, you leave your comments down below. Uh, if you want to help out Dirt Bike Channel, go to dirtbikechannel.com forward slash parts. If you're ordering your parts, you can do it through those links. Um, and that would help support the channel. Dirt Bike Channel just gets a little bit of a, a referral bonus when you do that type of thing. So anyway, thanks for watching guys and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and hope you get out and go ride.